I just sat in one of the coffee shops on the high street in red car. It's like the mobile one with the tables and chairs all the time. So you can hear the seagulls in the background and we've got a busker as well, so music while I'm having my cup of coffee. Quite reasonable price as well, £2 for a normal cup of coffee. Very good. And a little walk along the seafront in red car. I'll give you my views and thoughts. I've been here for three weeks now in red car and today is another sunny lovely day and walking along the, the seafront near the region picture house. I'm going to tell you what I think of red car. As I say I moved away from here 14 years ago and um, I'm back now visiting family and um, just decided to come out of a walk down to Red Car today. Now, not very often you see people swimming in the sea here, but that's got to be freezing cold in comparison to where I live in Thailand, where it's like jumping in bath water. It's so lovely. So, my thoughts on Red Car I do a lot of walking as I'm here because I don't have a car, uh, so I walk everywhere and I go around the streets and I've been to many places where I used to live and uh, actually red car considering the high street is sort of decimated loads of shops are closed hopefully there's a little bit of modernization going on in red car so hopefully fingers crossed this is the uh, the turning point of red car as I always liked red car growing up as a child you know, we moved to Red Car on the age of 11 and sort of 23 and I moved to Western and Norman B and I moved back to Red Car. So I've sort of lived in Red Car most of my life until I was 50. And then that's when I decided to travel the world and um, found much better places than, than Red Car. So here we are. There's a lot of seaweed on the beach over there but some people have pocketed and spades, traditional traditional red car and they're on about they were going to paint all of these lot different colors all of these flats and apartments and things like that there's a nursing home there now up for sale wow even the nursing homes have closed here <laughs> but when the sun's out red car is a lovely place it really is and uh, for those people who remember and um, there's a film called Dunkirk and they did a lot of filming here. It was about maybe two or three weeks um, filming process and they made the beach look like Dunkirk. And it was a fantastic movie. And they did all this lot as if it was in France. And as I say, there's a little like memento of when they did the filming here. Many hundreds of local people from Red Car, they did appear in the movie. and. There's one or two firefights I used to work with as well where they had little parts in, in the movie. So there's a lot of people in the movie. So a red car, you know, it's not the best place to live in the world, but it's certainly not the worst place in my view compared to some of the videos that I've seen around uh, the UK, how it's declined over the years. I think red car's faring pretty well, really. So there's some more people on the beach, look. It's not the best beach, I've seen it looking better than what it is. There's lots of seaweed on there and it doesn't look particularly clean, does it? There's a lot of sand erosion going, so there's lots of bricks and uh, pebbles there. But we're having to walk along now towards the, the Borton Lake. And uh, Regency Mansions, that used to be a big, big hotel, but that's been converted into flats and apartments now. That looks still pretty nice, a lovely old building, some nice views over the sea and all the windmills. So anybody that lives in Red Car know, knows now whereabouts we, we are. Before you used to get the, the vista over there with the steelworks, all that lot's gone now. It does actually look much better. And you might be able to see just in the distance the South Gear. This is where we were the other day when I did my van life. Um, video with regard to the vans living down by the South Gear, vans and caravans. 
So it's not too far away from Redcar. And those people from Red, remember these? Penguins. They're still there. They were there whoa, 20 years ago and they're still there, so they're still doing well. So now we're, we're having a walk up towards where the old Borton Lake was. I'm sorry if the wind's in making a bit of a noise because of the wind's right in front of us and it might affect the camera. So the bandstand, again that was featured in the movie Dunkirk. There's a little coffee shop there now at the Borton Lake. The Terrace Cafe this way. I remember as a child coming down these Borton Lakes with the little motorboats. It was brilliant. Why they don't do that now I don't know. Because it was such good fun. Again that draws many people here. the Borton Lake and uh, apparently they're going to build a hotel or something along here or near here it's like Ma near Majuba car park and that used to be a really big car park and uh, Cadona's was the amusement park that's all been knocked down now and uh, tuned in oh wow that wet that winds Rather breezy, isn't it? But it's lovely. And there's a little coffee shop there as well, also. How sad that they haven't got little boats. Now that certainly would bring the kids around here to play in the Borton Lake. But I'm sure because of health and safety and the walk rules, there'll be some reason why I can't do that. You know, if it's uh, more than six or seven inches deep fearing you have to have life jackets on and things like that who knows but that used to be the old boat and where they stored all the boats nice little coffee shop now and I know we're a bit of a distance but that used to be where Cadona's fun fair was that's all been knocked down now and there's looks like a little park down there and then there's a caravan site right at the bottom of it So there is things going on, little bit by little bit by little bit, hopefully, come on red car, you can do it. Now before I retired, my girlfriend lived in one of these apartments, so this is the view that we had from our apartment and uh, sadly she wanted to move back up to there. We travelled the world for two years. And um, she decided she wanted to come back to Redcar. She wanted to live in one of them apartments. I forget which one it was now. And she wanted to work back in the coffee shop that she was in. I didn't want to come back to Redcar. So ultimately we got divorced. But she had a good paid for round the world trip for two years. And she contributed 1800 pounds towards it because she bought her own round the world ticket. But hey ho, we had a up and down two year round the world trip. But it was good, no regrets. Sadly we got divorced, but that's the way the life goes. It was nice while it lasted. So another pub that's been there for as long as I can remember, the Lobster Inn. The Lobster Inn, opposite the cricket ground the red car and as we turn up to this road up towards the black bridge Trafalgar Terrace oh with some beautiful big houses along here very expensive houses a number of them were nursing homes and things like that but then overlooking the red car cricket ground So, that's my little walk around Red Car. We'll carry on over the bridge. So the Red Car Cricket Club, going onto the Black Bridge. Why it's called the Black Bridge? I don't know. Leave your comments down below if you know why it was called the Black Bridge. Always known as Black Bridge. Yeah, so. right.
Hello, good morning. Nice day, isn't it? A lovely day, thank you. So in the course on the opposite side of the Black Bridge, we get to the college on one side and Lock Park on the other. <sighs> Calm my breath a little bit walking up the bridge. So here we are at the bottom of the Black Bridge. Red Car College on one side and then Lock Park on the other. I'll do another video of that one day. It's a lovely little park again, it's been here forever as long as I've known it. And uh, it's sort of well used, Lock Park. But now here we go, there's the Corporation Road then there's Mersey Road. I won't be doing any video on up Mersey Road because it's just a, a long straight road. Right, I hope you've enjoyed my little walk around Red Car. Um, again, it's brought back a lot of memories. Being able to walk around Red Car, where I used to live. And uh, yeah, brought some good memories of living here in Red Car. Whereas uh, I lived here, oh, I've left here 14 years ago. So it has changed. I don't think it's changed for the worst. I think it's actually, it is a little bit on the decline, but fingers crossed with the um, renovations that are going on, I hope it brings, breathes life back in the red car it deserves something it is a nice place to visit it just needs some big draw like a big wet and wild or something like that to draw tourists in because when all said and done because the weather's not reliable in the UK it wants some indoor events it wants some indoor attractions where people can come and spend time with the kids if it's raining because if the kids are happy, your holiday is happy as well. And that's the way it goes. So thanks for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't like it. Thanks very much for watching.